I want to do a breathing exercise to get us started. And this breathing exercise is all about activating the pineal gland in the center of the brain. And I talked about the pineal gland so many times, but just a quick review. It is about the size of the eraser on a pencil. So it's pretty small and it's shaped like a pine cone, like a little tiny miniature pine cone. The pineal gland has a lot of functions. It does play a role in regulating our circadian rhythms and sleep. Definitely is part of how we tune into messages from God, divine guidance, wisdom. It is thought to play a role in dreaming. The pineal gland contains rods and cones like our physical eyes do. Our it is physical, but it's also a spiritual part of it. But these eyes have those uh, sensors called the rods and cones that help form our vision. The pineal gland, even though it's not on the outside of the body where it can get light, it's in a part of the body that I guess is always in the darkness because it's deep in the center of the brain. It has those sensors. So it's thought that when we dream, when we meditate, when we pray, when we get visuals, those are being formed because of the rods and cones in the pineal gland. So it helps with that inner vision. And it's also that gland that's in flock animals that creates flock behavior. It's thought to play a role in flock behavior. It's like when a whole flock of birds turns in flight at the same time or flies in a perfect formation, like a geese. Geese will fly in like a V shape with one bird in the lead and all the others kind of turning into the letter V <laughs> behind them. That's the pineal gland. So we're doing a breathing exercise today that's all about that. When we start in a moment, I'll have you close your eyes and then turn your eyes inwards, almost cross-eyed, and then upwards. So like you're trying to look backwards inside of your own head is kind of how I'll have you do it. Um, and it, it's kind of intense. It's like, uh, you know, if you cross your eyes, it feels a little intense. <laughs> you feel eye strain. So this will feel like a little bit of eye strain. And that's a good thing because we're wanting to create a little bit of pressure from the eyes, which also helps to activate that inner vision. On this breathing exercise, it's pretty simple. We're going to breathe in through the nose for about one second, out through the nose for one second and their belly breaths. So we want to be breathing into the belly, the navel comes out and back towards the spine. As we inhale, it goes out. As we exhale, navel towards the spine. I wouldn't say like a forceful breath, but a strong breath. And the whole time, those these eyes will be in and up and back, like we're trying to look backwards into the middle of our head. So let me get my... I'm ready. Where, oh, here's my phone. I'm going to time us on the breathing. We're going to do about 30 seconds of this in the nose, out the nose, belly breath. And then we're going to try to hold the breath for 45 seconds in. We'll breathe into the top, hold the breath. We'll go for 45 seconds. If you don't make it 45, that's fine. If you do, amazing. And the whole point of this breath is it's going to help activate that inner vision, that ability to hear divine wisdom. After the 45 seconds, we will slowly hum exhale for 10 seconds. So our exhale will be so we'll hum out the nose, lips are sealed for 10 seconds. All right. That's a lot to remember, but I'll guide you through it so you won't, don't have to remember it all. I want to invite you to go ahead and close your eyes and get comfortable. And take an inhale as you lengthen the spine, reach the top of your head up towards the sky. And as you exhale, root your tailbone down towards the earth, but keep the top of the head reaching up towards the sky so the spine is nice and long. Beautiful. And then imagine that you could 
turn your eyes in almost cross-eyed and then up as if you were trying to look in and up towards the center of your brain, almost behind where your eyeballs are. And go ahead and empty all the air from your lungs and we'll do belly breaths. Breathing in for one, out for one. In for one, out for one. In for one, out for one. Inhale, exhale. 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 Breathe all the way into the top and hold. See if you can sip in just a little bit more air and hold. Maybe a little bit more all the way up to the collarbones and keep holding. The lungs very full. The gaze inward and upward towards the center of the brain. Putting that pressure inside your forehead. Pressure in the eyeballs maybe. We're already two thirds of the way through this breath hold. We just have five more seconds left. Four, three, two, one. And let's hum out. And then let the breath return to normal for a couple of rounds. Reset and prepare for our second round. And this breathing exercise is not super hard, but also not the easiest, most gentle. But I love it because it does help to activate that inner sense of vision. And we're always wanting to know and to tune in. God, what's the wisdom for us? What do you want us to know? We always want to get that divine guidance and direction. And doing this exercise can make it a little easier to calm the mind chatter and to refocus our gaze inwards and upwards where that guidance comes from. Let's go ahead and prepare for our second round, turning that gaze inward and upward emptying all the air from your lungs. And let's begin. Belly inhale, belly exhale. Belly inhale, belly exhale. Through the nose, inhale, exhale. 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 Inhale and breathe all the way to the top and hold. Sip in a little bit more air and hold. See if you can sip in even more all the way to the collarbones and just hold this breath in. The lungs very full. We're going to hold it a little bit longer this time if you are able. If you must breathe, that's totally fine. But we're going to try to go for a total of 60 seconds, and we are already halfway there. Just observe how your body feels to be holding all this energy in and see if you can keep that inner gaze with the eyes going inward and upward. To hear and feel God, first we must calm the mind chatter, go in, and then we can go up. We just have three, two, one, and we'll hum for 10 seconds to exhale. Mm. 
And then go ahead and take two normal rounds of breath. As we prepare and reset for our final round. And keeping that gaze inward and upward with the eyes closed. We just have one more round. And on this round, we'll do everything the same, except we'll try to hold the breath in for 75 seconds, or as long as you are able. And then let's go ahead and empty all the air from the lungs to begin. Through the nose, belly breath inhale, belly exhale, belly inhale, belly exhale, <coughs> belly inhale. Belly exhale, belly inhale, belly exhale, inhale, 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 all the way to the top and hold. Sip in a little bit more air and hold. See if you can sip in any more all the way up to the collarbones and hold. Keeping the gaze inward and upward. Feeling a little bit of pressure behind the forehead or in the eyes or both. With this inward focus, allowing the external world to melt a bit. Maybe my voice sounds even more distant and far away. We're almost there. Just have 15 more seconds if you are able to continue. When we do exhale, we will do it with a hum, with our lips sealed, humming through the nose. And go ahead and hum for 10 seconds. Mm. With your eyes still closed, let your breath return to normal. And in this moment, a powerful activation is happening, an activation of that divine gift of the pineal gland, which enables us to tune into divine wisdom messages and guidance, insights, clarity, solutions, light bulb aha moments, where suddenly things come into focus and things that previously didn't make sense start to make sense. Today,